Okay, so here we are. We've got uh, Photo Plus um, open up on the screen and we're ready to start making uh, our banner image. So the first thing we're going to do is just press the new image button and it'll ask us uh, what kind of dimensions we want to use. Uh, well, actually, we're going to make something for the web. And let's set the dimensions so that they match our website. Now, if you're making this for your own website, you might have a different page width that you need to match. Uh, but the super splash one happens to need a banner image that is 960 pixels wide, which is the width of the whole website, and 400 pixels high. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're, this is absolutely fine. 8 bits per channel, no trouble. Transparent, lovely. Uh, and just press OK. And now we've got our canvas where we can make our um, banner image. And the first thing we need is uh, we need some assets. We need to go online and we need to find uh, some images that we can include in our banner image. And I'm going to look for um, a swimming pool background and also um, a picture of a baby that is swimming that I can, and that I can include. Uh, so to go looking for this, let's go to Chrome. And we're going to be using Creative Commons, oops, Creative Commons and Creative Commons Search. Lovely, uh, go away. So here we are, uh, we're going to enter our search query. So we're going to look for a swimming pool. And we're going to look, um, there are a few places we could look. Uh, the clip art library, but I don't really want clip art. Um, Flickr is a very good place for photography, as is Pixabay, uh, but I'm going to choose Pixabay. So click on Pixabay, having already uh, entered swimming pool, and make sure you've got that we can use it for commercial purposes ticked, and that we can modify, adapt, and build upon uh, the items that we find, because we're going to be doing both of those things. So let's click on Pixabay, and you'll see that you get a bunch of images. These ones at the top are sponsored and you have to pay for them, uh, but all of these are free. Uh, so we've got that chat, probably not perfect for what we're doing. Uh, we're not doing swimming with dogs. Um, that baby doesn't seem to be doing, or that person doesn't seem to be doing very well, so it's probably not an encouraging image. Uh, this one could be fun, and if we were doing something like a pool party, that would be a really good one. Uh, but let's, what I've uh, found probably uh, is the best one uh, for our purposes is actually just this simple um, swimming pool kind of background. So if we click on that, uh, this image will, will do great. It's nice, it's clearly a pool, uh, and we'll be able to put whatever kind of images we want on top of it. So we're going to do a free download, um, and let's try and get it um, at least as large as our image. Uh, so this image is fine, this size. Uh, this would be pushing it a little bit because that is the width of our of our image. Um, original would be very large indeed uh, if we're doing some print work or, or a larger page image we might want that but large will do for now. Press download. Now if you're not signed in it will ask you to sign in um, and what you can do at that point is if you've got a Google account you can sign up with a Google account or your Facebook account. Uh, you don't have to create a new account with Pixabay if you don't want to. Okay, so that's got us a nice uh, swimming pool background that we can use. Um, the other thing that I'd quite like to have um, is some sort of swimming uh, baby. So again, I'm going to search Pixabay, and I'm going to go looking for the baby that might be suitable. Uh, that's actually quite a good ready-made image. Uh, that could be quite useful, but actually I want to show how to create um, a new composite image. So. That's quite funny. That could uh, that could be useful. Um, uh, not sure that one is a particularly uh, useful one. Uh, but this baby here, I think, um, is is the one we're going to be going for. That's the one I've used before. Uh, uh, it's really engaging. The baby's clearly having uh, a fun time, um, and it looks like we'll be able to do a decent job of cutting out and using that in our own image. So let's click on that baby and we're going to do another free download. Uh, remember there's free for commercial use, fantastic. We don't need to uh, speak, um, I don't need to say who the original author is, we can just use it which is great. So free download and I'm going to get the original size, a nice large one now. Press download and that's downloaded as well. 
So uh, that's really good. We've got um, a couple of assets. Now, in order to not lose track of these, uh, they will be in our downloads folder. Um, but I think it would be helpful if we make a folder to put them in. So I'm going to go to Explorer and I'm going to go into my documents. And let's make a new folder. So now my Super Splash project folder. I'm going to make a new folder. I've right clicked, make a new folder. I'm going to call this a Promo Banner. And inside Promo Banner, I'm going to right click and make another new folder. And this one I'm going to call Assets. So this is where I'm going to store all of my original things. And if I go to my Downloads, and if I just sort it by date modified, uh, these are the most recent uh, items that I've just downloaded. So I can select them both by dragging a little box. And I can do right click, copy. And then I can go back to where I was before, my Super Splash Project Photo Banner Assets, right click, paste. And now I've got copies in a place where I, I know where I will find them later. Right, we've downloaded our assets. Now we need to put them into uh, Photo Plus. So let's go back to Photo Plus. And we're going to open those new images. So we're going to do open. And if we go to Super Splash Project, go to Promo Banner, to your assets. These are the images. So I'm going to just click and drag a nice big box. I want to open both of them. So press open. And they'll open in this little documents tab at the bottom that shows my, my completely empty uh, artwork the baby image and the pool background image. Uh, so let's copy this one onto there first of all. So with that image showing unselected, go to edit and copy. Go back to your original piece of art, your banner. And let's do edit and we're going to paste as a layer. And that means if you look over here on the right, we've now got two layers. We've got our, our, back, our transparent background and we've got this pool that we've just added on. Um, and if I click on this deform tool, we'll be able to move, uh, we'll be able to resize and move this uh, around. In fact, it's so large, we can't see the drag handle. So if I zoom out by clicking on my zoom button, holding the shift key, it zooms out. And we should see, if I go back to my deform tool, this is the full size of that image. So I'm going to hold shift and drag in from the sides to resize it uh, so that it, it fills the width of our banner image. I don't want to resize it like this because that will actually squish it up and it won't, it won't necessarily look as good. I want to keep it in its original proportions, so I'm going to undo that. And there we go. And I'm going to just go back to holding shift, which keeps the proportions intact as I resize from the corners. And I can zoom back in. And there we go, there's our swimming pool background and we're ready to put our baby image on. So I'm going to grab the baby image, I'm going to click on that. And uh, again, I'm going to do edit, copy, go back to our banner, paste as a new layer. There's our giant baby, so we're going to have to do our trick of uh, zooming out again. And let's click on the deform tool. And we'll make him a little bit smaller so that he fits a bit better in our image. Now, at this stage, obviously, we've got the background we need to get rid of, and we'll do all of that in a bit. Uh, but first of all, let's just get him the right size so that he's going to be nice and prominent in our image. And cleverly, we're going to get rid of a bit of mum. We don't really need her. We want the focus to be on the baby, so we just push her to the side. OK, that's looking pretty good. Um, zoom back in and we've got the right elements there. Uh, last few things we want to do is I just want to rename these so that we can easily find them later. So if you click uh, or double click on a layer, you can change some of its properties. One of the things we can change is name. So this is just the pool background. Okay, and double click on this one and this is the baby. And now it'll be easy to find those when we're doing work later. And because they're separate layers, uh, they can be independently moved. So we can move that one around. Uh, I can move the pool around if I select it. 
Um, so that's one of the benefits of using PhotoPlus with its layering. It enables us to make these changes, uh, which are what we call non-destructive. It means that a change to one part of the image won't affect um, the other parts underneath it. Right. In our next little uh, video in this series, we're going to look at how we cut out the baby um, so that we don't have all of this different background and we just have the swimming pool in the background. So if you want to just get your own banners uh, to this sort of point and then join in with the next video, I'll see you then.